What's good? It's Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. <laughs> this is not, not another damn podcast. Send it by our damn selves. So 345. 345. Yes. Yeah. On this cold ass MLK weekend. We got our first um polar vortex of 2024. We in it now. Yeah. Got some below zero weather right now as we do this. <laughs> Currently is negative six degrees. <laughs> I real did that. My... Real temperature. No, I did that the... my Google Assistant voice. <laughs> that's the actual temp. That ain't the fucking windshield. So it's actually below zero. The actual temperature is below zero. And the advisory, I think, lasts until like Wednesday. So we're going to be under a wind chill advisory for a while. So you ain't got to go. High. The high is off. zero degrees today yeah. in Chicago. We never get above, never get above zero the whole day. Mm. Negative wind chill. This, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. But it's only supposed to last, like I said, for like the first half of the week, and then we go back to our regular like thirty ish, like that. Yeah, in the twenties, but it's going to jump up until. The 40s, like, I think next week or week after or something. Yeah, like, the week of, like, I'm looking ahead, like, in the 20s. Like, when you get, like, the 23rd, 24th, it's supposed to be in the 40s. So, I don't know. This weather is just so weird. Like, in 10 days, it's going to be 40 plus degrees in 10 days. In the vortex. We might call it that. In the vortex. Maybe the name of the <laughs> Possibly. And then that's why people uh, in Chicago, like, uh, when we have weather like this, where it's like super cold, and then like if it's like forty or fifty degrees in a couple of weeks, then that's why you see us outside barbecuing. We're not crazy. That's why you see people do that because coming from zero to go to fifty, it's like oh, it's warm outside now. You know, it's like oh, yeah, we you don't see me in the hoodie, have a t-shirt on and shit during that time. We're gonna be outside grilling, like you know, it's that's what we do. And people look at us like we're weird, but when you go from zero to fifty, that's <laughs> but I mean, just still dress appropriately, wear your layers, put on your proper attire. Don't be outside in windbreakers and shorts and <laughs> and gym shoes. Don't do that. Please don't do that. No hat and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> oh my lord. Vortex time though. But they're all getting it because I saw other regions are like, I saw other regions oh, yeah. tapping in where they're at. So, Everywhere. <laughs> like somebody from Nebraska in my natural hair group, they said it was like negative 21 now. I'm like, yeah. that, that's your temperature, negative 21? What? I was like, wait, what? Smack, Smackdown was, um, as a wrestling fan, Smackdown was in Nebraska the other day and they were talking about how cold it was on the show. It's like, yeah. the announcers mentioned that shit. Too. It's like, <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, okay. I said, well, as uh, Chicago, I won't complain because Nebraska's at negative 21. We're at negative six now. Yay. <laughs> you know, so I won't complain too much. Yeah. <laughs> Way warm. We three times warmer than them. Exactly. You know, we got we to gotta take it where we can. Mm. But yeah, we saw uh, what we were watching uh, the wild card game the other day with uh, the Dolphins and the um, Chiefs. Like, them fans. I saw fans outside with no shirts on. What the hell? Like, <laughs> that just blew my mind. Like, it was like negative seven. They was like wind chill was like negative 20 wind chill or something. They were playing the Dolphins. They thought they were in Miami. <laughs> and people were actually, they showed some people. I don't want to call these people idiots, but these people were outside. Let's go. Let's go. With no shirts on. I'm like. Yeah, I'm not that serious a fan. It's like, First of all, I wouldn't even be outside like in the weather. But I can't do I can't do cold. I wouldn't even be out there. First of all, that's the first part. But the fact that these guys were outside and shirtless, but then you saw some people appropriate. They had on like the whole ski mask and like blankets, and they were like <laughs> like the people that were outside. Like some people were like you know bundled up really well, but. Mm. But uh, the Chiefs did pull out their big, they won, well, not pull out, they won. Like, they was a convincing victory. They beat the shit out of them. But my thing is, is that the uh, the Southern people, like the Miami, they ain't used to this up here. So mm -hmm. I think that's just what happened. When you... uh, we used to joke about that back in the day. They called it bear weather. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And then, like, when teams like Miami would come in, it's like Miami come here. It's like the old, the old Soldier Field, not the, the not the not the spaceship as they call it when they're coming to Soldier Field and shit. And they'd be like, like Syrian Bowl. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> But it is something with that where, like, if you're not used to certain areas, so you go in and you're like, like to us, we're like, okay, this is Chicago. Yeah. We, we do this in Chicago. We do the snow. We do the cold. We do this in Chicago. But if you're not used to this type of weather, yeah. they definitely, like, they freak out when they get, like, the few times that they did get snow, like, in Florida or Atlanta, like, you know, in Georgia, like that, they, they were like... I, mean, I, I want to say it was last year around this time when we had a vortex and it was um which I still hate that they that they got them extra regular season. I think the regular season should end before the new year. That's just my opinion. <laughs> like I hate that they added those extra games on. Like I don't especially for bad teams. Like I don't want to see bums playing in January. It should only be playoff teams by then. But that's <laughs> But like, cause the and get, this is where I'm getting with it. The Bears were still playing. <laughs> it was a, it was a day like today. And I saw that it was like, um, take get, get t- tickets started just twenty dollars because it was like that. I was like, I was like, if you gave me tickets, I wouldn't go to that game. Like, ain't no way because they had tickets started like twenty dollars for the Bears. I was like, I said, if y'all want to go, y'all y'all going to that game? I was like, I'm not sitting out there. I'm not sitting outside. I'm not sitting outside yeah, past October. I don't care, I, I don't care if the tickets were free. I'm not going. Like I said. That's just my eye stance right there. Past October, I'm not sitting outside for a football if you game. You paid me $20 to go to that game. I'm not going. It's like, shit. <laughs> Some shit I'm just not doing. I can't do that. Is... So I saw that. It was like $20 tickets. So like, psh, y'all, <laughs> y'all better than me and shit. I'm not going out there. It's not the $20 tickets. Because it was a day like this. And like, like, who the fuck is going to a football game like right now? And shit. But we saw they are going. Like, it's, at least it's playoff games they're going to now. Went like a <laughs> bomb ass regular season team like last year. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> Diehards. Yeah. But I, I, I tip my hat to them diehards. Like, you guys are out there and y'all. It could never be me. That's all I'm going to say about that. It would never be me out there <laughs> in any capacity. Like I said, the fact that you guys are out there shirtless, like it's like that's. Since we talking football, the end of an era right here. I just mentioned it. Yeah, Bill Belichick <laughs> stepped down as the head coach of the Patriots after 24 wow. years, six Super Bowls. <laughs> so, yeah, six rings in 24 years he stepped down. He was like what Greg Popovich was to the NBA is what Belichick was to the NFL. That's what that's the comparison. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like um, I guess it's right, yeah, because Brady retired, so it makes sense. Yeah, even though Brady left like a few years ago, yeah. Did Brady but... really retired though. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Come back. You gonna come, you come, gonna come back. back like at 48 and be like, hey, I still got something left in the tank. Put me in, coach. <laughs> is he gonna do that? <laughs> yeah. Back up on um, Justin Fields with the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> that man, what, Brady, be what is he like 45 now? It's 44, 44. He's old. Brady is old. Like that man is old. He needs to just just chill out. You got your kids, just you know. Bella checks out of there. I was like, oh wow, okay. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. But it is a sh- I mean, tw- think about it, 24 years. That's a long time to that's even like, in like a regular time. job. That's still a yeah. long time to do any job. That's almost a quarter of a century. That one guy, like, yeah, at the head of, as head coach, it's like that's. Think about his it, kids. It's guys are in the NFL now that weren't even born. That oh, you know, they know it's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> that weren't even born. Yeah. Else ever coaching that team? <laughs> that's all. Twenty four years ago, like I said, well, we just started two thousand four. So I mean, two thousand not twenty four. So that would have been two thousand. But if you just want to say nineteen ninety nine, that's like we just started the new year. So. You know, it's people that are in the league that weren't, yeah, <laughs> that weren't even born yet. So they've always like, oh, Bill Belichick, they've always looked and that's always been who was the standard of like what a coach should be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like for us, like standard for coaches, like Phil Jackson, like that's what a coach, like your coach should be. That's what your coach should be. You know, yeah. Greg Popovich, you know, you should have people like that. It's like your coach. If you like, oh, go to Pat Riley, you go to school, you know. Facts. You know, but, mm-hmm. but mm. since we so, talked about here, just started. Going there, though. Who's going there, though? Who's going to be there? Um, it just, um, you know, they, they got plenty of time to, for a search now. Yeah. 
because like the off season is coming up, so they probably gonna take their time like finding like his replacement, the right know. person to really fit their system, or they just like go outside. I don't know what they're gonna do yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely keeping an eye on that. And since we talking about, we mentioned um like the year just starting um like forty years ago was a huge like, eighty four. It's like <laughs> we were just talking about this before, like, and I thought I'd bring it to the podcast is um. Is like when we said like the best music and movies like pretty much in the eighties. Like, <laughs> I hate to be biased, but I, I'm not trying to be that person that back in my day everything was so much better because everything wasn't. But musically and movie wise, the eighties is superior to like <laughs> it's superior to most of. I'm I'm sorry, it just is the eighties is superior. In these movies, it I'm is. just looking at um. You want to talk about box office or just talk about yeah. <laughs> 84. Let's go. Let's see what happened 40 years ago. I'm just going to break. I'm not going to even read all of these in order. I'm just going to. Um, when I was a child, when I was a little bit 40 years ago. <laughs> well, fuck you. Let's bring it up. Let's bring the graph up and shit. Yeah. And we're going to be like, you're going to be like, yeah. Like it's going to be like, yeah, there's so much shit that came out in 84. Because some stuff I can remember off the top of my head and, you yeah. know, seeing them like as a kid. Yeah. Like I remember yeah. seeing some of these movies as a kid. I saw a graphic of uh, the shows that started four years ago. Also, I saw I'm a graphic of that. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. And I was like, mm -hmm. I'm like the eighties. It was popping. <laughs> it was popping. It was popping. Oh my goodness. Okay, why is this thing not coming up? <laughs> you said the graphic. Yeah, I'm trying to share it. It's not coming up. <laughs> it's like you know your technology, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Technology, technology, sometimes. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> okay. All these graphs look the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we okay, see? Now this? I see it. Look, okay. 1984. This is like, yeah, IMDb. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Something strange. Neighborhood. <laughs> Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. Yes, that was my favorite one. Gremlins was three. Karate okay. Kid. Police Academy. Police Academy was 84. Wow, I forgot about that. What loose? Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop was 84. Star Trek 3 came out. Romance in the Stone. Splash was 84. Splash. Purple Rain Purple was 84. Purple Rain. Purple. Revenge of the Nerds was Revenge of the Nerds. 84 might be the best year ever for movies. Bachelor Breaking. Party. Breaking. Breaking. Bachelor oh Party. God. Terminator. Terminator. What? Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Conan the Destroyer, the last Conan came. So Arnold had two big movies in 84. Yeah, Conan. Muppets the... Take Manhattan. Muppets Take Manhattan, yeah. <laughs> Scarface. Scarface. Yes, was, um, it was, <laughs> what else we got? Um, 16 Candles, my God. The Jungle so Book came out of the vault that Jungle year. They, Book? Yeah, they took it, you know, some Disney had the vault going on. They brought it out of the vault in 84. The Never Ended Story, wow. I'm telling you, 84 might be the best year ever for movies. It's like, yeah. Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. <laughs> B Street. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 84. Pinocchio came out of the Pinocchio. ball. Cotton Club, yeah, with um Gregory Hines in the pit. <laughs> 84 with my DC cap. <laughs> I, think, I think that came out the end of 83. Yeah, yeah it came out 80, December 83. I was like, yeah. That came, I think that came out the end of 80. <laughs> Not DC cap. But 84 might be the best year for movies. Like Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. So, hmm. yes. The first one, yeah. Okay, 84 was deep. I didn't know it was that deep. <laughs> like, I think 84. So, this is like this is the 40 year anniversary, of like all of those movies. That's why we mentioned in 84 is like, yeah, 40 year anniversary. So, like, 84 was like a, an amazing, <laughs> like, as far as movies. It's like, I was like, whoa. And I forgot, I was like, Breaking and Beat Street both came out that year. I, I forgot those about movies I watch regularly on the list. Beverly Hills Cop, baby. <laughs> Not gonna fall for the banana and the tailpipe. <laughs> I think it's on Netflix now. I think, but Beverly Hills Cop is on Netflix. I think. Yeah, and I saw it somewhere else too. Um, um, maybe too. I saw it somewhere else, like like that. It's on Netflix, yeah. So you Not can stream it. It's, Not it's on it's Inspector. Not yeah. <laughs> More original nerds don't feel. Don't be offended because it's a lot of stuff in the original nerds. So you guys who are nerds. sensitive would be. Revenge of the nerds. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> oh girl. Oh girl. Oh girl. Oh girl. 
Yeah, 84 was like, it slapped me. <laughs> and I was just like the top 100. We didn't even keep going. It's like, yeah, this list oh just go on and on. I can't. I can't. Yeah. It's... The movies were great. Yep. They were great in 1984. I think I'm going to show Ghostbusters to the... Uh, I think they can watch Ghostbusters to the kids. I think they can. That's PG, yeah. They can watch Ghostbusters. I just don't want Khalil in my room and having nightmares. So I'm like, my room would be scared. <laughs> but um, I was around Ari's age when Ghostbusters came out, so she's definitely old enough. Yeah, she's definitely. Yeah, she'll like it. I, I know she'll like um Slimer because she liked him on the Just Dance games when we did the um something strange and your neighborhood. We did the uh, dance to that, and then they had Slimer come around and he slimed all the yeah. people when you're like doing the dance. You have to like do the dance with the and she likes Slimer. I said, who's that? I was like, that's Slimer. I said, okay. I said, I like Slimer when I was your age too. I liked him because I watched the Ghostbusters uh, cartoon when that came out, the Saturday morning cartoon. Oh, the, ghost, the, the real Ghostbusters, yeah. The yeah. <laughs> and that it, it, the history of that is interesting too, how that happened. Why they call it the real Ghostbusters is like a real, like a convoluted like backstory. Cause like I remember another show being Ghostbusters on that, and, and it was like it was whack and shit. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> it's like it, it wasn't the movie. I was like this is like because like they they trick kids. It's like yeah, because like the Ghostbusters the movie the eighty four movie like um was obviously that's the one that everybody wanted to see. That's the one everybody wants. Well, was some little known show back in the seventies called the Ghostbusters that nobody remembered. It was whack and shit. Yeah, <laughs> so they own like the name Ghostbusters. And um, I think it was made by I think, I think filmation like wanted. So then when they um, when it was time to do an animated version, like the the people who own who made that original whack version in the seventies, like they own the 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 rights to the they wanted to like do the animated version. But then um, the people yeah, Columbia went with another studio to do it. It's like okay we. And so, like these assholes, they said, "Okay, we 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 can put out a ghost, but hey, we we technically only we can put out a show called Ghostbusters." So they put out so so. What do you think they did? <laughs> they put out a cartoon based on that whack ass seventy shows that nobody remembered. <laughs> so with kids coming up, it's like, "Oh, Ghostbusters cartoon." We watched like the fuck is this and shit. <laughs> so then, like the next day, it's like literally like a show called the real Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters. I'm like this, no, this is it. Yeah, this is it. And you see Slimer, Slimer. And that like at our four heroes from the movie it had everybody, yeah. everybody was there it's like <laughs> everybody was there the whole clue the whole crew was there because you can't have it without slimer yep. and then slimer remember they had the ecto cooler um oh, high c juice yeah. boxes yeah. Slimer <laughs> remember, got, those, remember those ecto coolers you remember those see <laughs> those are weird so if you like it's so if it's it's two car animated ghostbusters out there it's Ghostbusters and it's the real Ghostbusters. The good one is the real Ghostbusters. That's the one that's based on the movie. Yeah. Now I'm gonna look and see if I can find it. Hopefully, that I whack can find ass it. Ghostbusters. <laughs> not, not that black one. No, not that whack one. I'm not watching that. The kids, <laughs> you was just like, um, it's about like two assholes and an ape. It's like we're like, what the fuck is this and shit? It's like, yeah. <laughs> So this ain't Ghostbusters and shit. That's show, <laughs> asshole with the two assholes. Well, that's creep show. Yeah, that's creep show. Yeah. <laughs> so then at school, then we said like say, oh, you mean the the real Ghostbusters? The that's real the Ghostbusters, like, yeah. Like, you see Ghostbusters change the channel. That sucks. It's like and it only lasted one season, so they knew it sucked too. It's like <laughs> they were just mad because the studio at like, Columbia. They were in their feelings, yeah. Because said, well, we we still gonna put out a Ghostbusters cartoon. So, and you failed. I that I was a kid, but even I know they were stupid then. <laughs> like, even that, I like really just stay in your lane. Stay you got two lane. Ghostbusters shows, and one of them sucks. And <laughs> one of them sucks. <laughs> And I love like um I found like the IMDb when they used to have message boards I used to just go on just to read for the, the comments on that to talk about how much this show blows and all that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're gonna have their defenders be like, yeah, no, it wasn't bad. I like this show. Like, no, you didn't. <laughs> that was that was somebody's child or grandchild, you know. Saying, well, it wasn't people, that well, bad. People just like to troll and like go against the grand. Some people just like to be devil's advocate and all that. <laughs> like you know, this was not good. You it's know, like. This was you know, the good one was the one with our four Ghostbusters and Slimer. That's the one with the fucking um the and hearse. The girl, like, the girl the, that the, 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 the girl that works with the hearse is like we that's the one. The what firehouse the they girl? lived in is like, yeah, what that's the, name? the girl who worked in the, the um, quirky girl is like, yeah, that um, yeah, I can't think of her with the red hair and the glasses. Yeah, I can't think of her like, name. Was the secretary, yeah, the little quirky girl is like, yeah, yeah. that's that's the, the, yeah, that's that's the, the Ghostbusters one. that we watch. 
you know, not these two assholes with this ape. Like, you know, that's not good. And <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be comments. It's like, yeah, and no, I like this show. Like, like, stop the cap. It's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> now, can we have like a celebration? Can we have like a commemorative 40th anniversary for some of this 84, stuff? Yeah, because like can that. Can we do that? that? I mean. So now and then, Ghostbusters was the number one movie of 84. Because like, we all... We like try. We like to try to guess and like break down like what was each year like the move. And I, I guess the Ghostbusters right. I will probably say um that um Jedi was probably eighty three. I would say <laughs> that's right. Like we were like trying to, Back to the Future. Was probably I, uh, yeah. I was pretty close. I would have thought um Indiana Jones would have been another one. I would have said but I was. I was close. I was like it's number two. So I mean, I was close. That's why I'm then the, the top three were like I pretty much got. I said Temple. I said Temple of Doom could have said or Gremlins, and that was one, two, and three it was Ghostbusters. That was my guess. My guess would have been Indiana like Jones. Temple of Doom would have been my guess for the number one movie at eighty four. I said it's probably Ghostbusters. I said, I said if it's not Ghostbusters, either Temple of Doom or Gremlins, and those were two and three. <laughs> so odds be knowing and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That was my guess. That's the only two I could see. Like, I can't see any of the other movies beating. Any other ones like hopping it. Yeah. So it's going to be like, yeah, one of those three. Yeah. Let's look up TV shows now. That shit. Um, that's the one you said. Yeah. yeah I know it's some big time. ones that, um, and we were talking about this. Um, then you had mentioned, like, yeah, <laughs> some of the shows. And I was like, that came out in 84. <laughs> When I saw somebody posting on Facebook on the, I think it's the classic television group or whatever. And when I saw, just the list of the shows that these shows debuted this year, uh, 40 years ago. And these shows are 40 years old now. And I'm like, hey, let's go to IMDb. That's the nostalgia to make you feel. Shout out IMDb there, the shit. <laughs> make you feel old, but I mean, because some of these shows, it's like I vividly remember watching. Like, I watched these shows. Some of these shows. I I, I, me personally, I probably remember every single one of them. <laughs> I didn't remember every one. <laughs> okay, I never heard this one, never heard this one, never heard this one. But, like, okay, I watched this, 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 this. <laughs> Pretty sure I remember every single one. <laughs> Oz was, well, I'm, I'm old, but I'm not that old. I'm old enough to remember 84 and shit. Yeah. 84. Uh, of course, the Cosby show. Yeah. Of course, the Cosby show. Miami Vice. <laughs> of course. The Transformers. Robots in disguise. Yeah. That we ran three seasons or four yeah. seasons? Wow. The Transformers. I thought it ran longer than that. It probably had reboots and stuff, but yeah, the, the yeah. Original, that original show was just, yeah. <laughs> Sir Vince's of Sherlock Holmes. I don't remember that. Oh, did a season, <laughs> yeah. Murder, she wrote. That of course, Murder, she wrote Angela Lansbury. Yeah. Who's the boss? Tony. <laughs> Shout out Tony, who who plays on uh, Raising Canaan now. He's a mob boss. <laughs> I liked Mona. Mona was my favorite on the Who's the Boss? Because Mona was just hilarious. Oh, um, that was Jessica Tate, right? I think Jessica that was Tate, like, yeah. I, I want to say that played Mona. <laughs> Tony. He was hilarious. He, I remember that. So, yeah. I saw the reboot. I didn't remember yeah, the reboot. reboot. Like around 2011. Before Chestnut. Yeah. I remember this version of me. <laughs> I know the Morris Chestnut version. <laughs> Night Court, which they have a reboot Night of Court, now. Like yeah. it's a, I think on Netflix, I think it's a new version of Night Court. Yeah, it is. It's a new one. And like I said, Larry the guy's Anderson, daughter. It's supposed to be his daughter. That's um Harry Anderson's daughter. Yeah, it's supposed to but be I his daughter. Out of the main cast, like is just Marsha Warfield and, Ta and John Larroquette. Only, and I think John Larroquette is the only original cast that's on the show. I don't mm -hmm. think Marsha's on the new show. So yeah, so mm -hmm. I think they're the last two still alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Airwolf, I kind of remember. Yeah, I didn't watch it, but I remember the show. I don't know what that is. Watch Jeopardy, the Alex Jeopardy, Trebek version, not the original version, the Alex Trebek version. Yeah, Charles mm -hmm. in Charge with Scott Bayo started. Scott in Bayo? I remember this show, but I didn't watch it. But I do remember the Charles in Charge. I remember it, but I remember. I didn't watch it yet. Monkey Brewster, Monkey, Dave. Monkey Power. And they had a cartoon until you remember that, yeah, that they had an animated version <laughs> of Funky Brewster that came with it. Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies, of course. 
my fave. That was like my fave. I love some Muppet Babies. I, except for Baby Piggy. I couldn't stand Baby Piggy. You didn't like Baby Piggy? <laughs> <laughs> Rest of them, yeah. yeah I, I fucks with y'all. Like Baby Piggy, you can kick rocks and shit. Baby Piggy <laughs> just is. Don't diss Piggy. <laughs> I, I, like, I like adult Piggy. She slapped. It's like Baby Piggy I didn't like. So it's like she was just mean to everybody. Like, adult <laughs> Piggy was dope. It's like <laughs> I didn't like Baby Piggy. <laughs> and then he was um, Barbara Billingsley. Her mom, Cleaver. Cleaver, <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, Beaver's I remember mom. Her mom was like, "That's June Cleaver." Like the first time we watched Muppet Baby, she like, "That's June." Because he knew the voice right away. Yeah, so he's <laughs> Voltron. Okay, that debuted in the universe. Okay. Yeah, everybody wanted to be Transformers during that time. That's where this came from. <laughs> this is, uh, we got Transformers at home. <laughs> Basically, Robin Hood, Highway to Heaven with uh Michael Landon. I remember that. I, I didn't watch it. Yeah, I don't remember that. Hunter, I remember. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> it was a cop, yeah. It's a cop show. Because it came on with the, the, the lineup with this. It was like V, Hunter, and Miami Vice. They all came on together. That was that line, Friday night lineup. So NBC went hard on Friday during that. Okay. <laughs> they had like the action lineup, right. I guess what you called it. It's like V was at, at 7 o'clock, then Hunter was 8, and then Miami Vice closed it out at 9, yeah. That was the action, the Friday night action line. Friday night action. I guess Thursday was the comedy lineup because you had um Cosby Show, Family Ties, Cheers, and Night Court. So like Thursday yeah. went hard. It's like, <laughs> Thursday went hard, yeah. <laughs> Thursday went hard. Like, Thursday went I think hard. um the nine o'clock, yeah, I think it was it still Hill Street Blues or something like that. They had so then they had one like drama, but the rest was comedy, like for mm -hmm. Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas and Fro okay, I don't I remember this. Okay, yeah. And this shit is still on, apparently. <laughs> or it went off on until 2020. Yeah, that shit, I don't know. The I thought it came out later than that, because I remember Thomas and Friends in the 90s. I didn't know it started in the 80s. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I still, remember in the 90s. still on yeah. until 2021, yeah, apparently. Yeah, I, remember, I definitely remember that in the 90s. Okay, now we get to the crap. I don't remember any of Yeah, I don't know what this is. The Let's bill. Uh, this, yeah, we in the crap now. Yeah, Santa the new Barbara. Okay. I don't remember Santa Barbara. It was a daytime. Um, and so. I remember the new Scooby Doo stuff. Yeah, the mysteries. The Snorks. Okay, there's Snorks. A, yeah, Heath Cliff and the Heath Cat Black Cat. Heath Cliff, no one should terrify the neighborhood. Now we got so, so we had some crap, and now we back to some good stuff again. <laughs> so like this was crap, good. this crap was rated higher than Heath Cliff. That's what's funny. How you rate higher than Heath Cliff? Wait a I minute. Was, um, uh, Thomas and Friends rated higher. He, I guess the shit was on till like fucking the 2021 and Heathcliff was canceled in 85. So that's why. <laughs> or 87. It lasted. 87. It only ran a season. I thought it must have been in syndication until that month. Riptide. I remember that. I don't know what that is. Living Planet. Don't know. That's still you know on. That it's like, yeah. This shit or some. I don't know what the fuck you know that what is. This is? This looks like Kate and Allie. I remember that show. I would do any of these, okay. The Master Don't Tripod. Okay, now we're in the crap section. Yeah, I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> I don't know these. I'm probably going to Rainbow Bright came Rainbow on. Rainbow Bright, of course I watched it. That way it ran for three seasons? Yeah. Wow, I seem like I ran longer than that. I watched some Rainbow Bright. That was my show. The Super Friends. Super that Friends. I thought they started in oh, in the set. Oh yeah, seventy. So it must have um they must have rebooted it like around eighty four. Probably yeah. Because I do remember too. Because like, I'm a Batman guy, so I definitely watch Super Friends. <laughs> My nigga Batman right here. <laughs> <laughs> you love some Batman. So you Batman, GI Joe, WWE, like those are my three. It's the, chick, it's the car. It's the car. Chicks dig the car. That's yeah, why you like Batman. Batman. It's the car. He is incorporated. I remember that. Yeah. It was a um that was like a, a variety show like it was yeah. like all that before all that basically it's like <laughs> what's call was on it I want to say I think Fergie was on Kids Incorporated I think oh, I see your name you're right good call. yeah was I think Fergie was on there oh, Patterson yeah. was on there too was like okay oh, okay I didn't ever shot good Patterson call. I remember Fergie was on. Was like, <laughs> you said it right now I was like yep there's <laughs> Fergie. GoBots, I mean, hey, what's funny about GoBots, people call GoBots a knockoff Transformers, but actually they came first. So Transformers are the fuck. Transformers are the Cedric the Entertainer and GoBots was Cat Williams. There we go. They did the joke first. It's like, <laughs> but they got, but said, but Transformers got more famous doing it. <laughs> they did the joke first. Don't say it. 
Gobots is Mark Curry. You said <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> is- <laughs> they did it. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> then people say, Go, when they knock off Transformers, actually, they came first. I think Gobots, I think, started in 83, like the toys, like the show probably was 84. Like 83, the Transformers was 84 is when the toys came up. So they just did it better than Gobots. That's they did it better because. Transformers still has movies out now, so no, and people and people ask your kids what a go body is. They gonna have no <laughs> like what? <laughs> you probably don't even remember the fucking. I don't even know what that is. Go bots. I don't even know what that is. They were yeah. They car. They, they robots and turned into cars. It's the same thing as Transformers. It's, it's Transformers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Transformers is the best. They were made by <laughs> Tonka. Transformers was made by um Hasbro, I believe. Yeah. So that's Hasbro, what, yeah, Hasbro. Um, Asbro ripped off Tonka, basically. <laughs> hey, but Tonka look. had the bomb trucks, so them Tonka trucks were strong. They were sturdy. Them dump trucks, yeah. Them trucks were strong. Wow, you probably don't remember that. Like, the Three's Company after show was like, yeah. It's like when Jack, like, yeah. Like, it was like when Jack moves in with his girlfriend, and then the, the father is, like, always oh, meddling. That's the show. Like, it only lasted a season. Sounds terrible, but. It only lasted one season. It season. sounds terrible. It does. Yeah. It was the Three's Company after show that nobody remembers. Like, like, like the Sanford Arms, I said. It's like the Sanford Arms, thank you. <laughs> the Sanford Arms. Or the Golden Palace. It was like that. The Golden it's Palace, like, yeah, it sounds terrible. Show. It's like, let's do Three's Company without Janet and Ferrelli and none of them. It's like, let's just, let's just have Jack and his girlfriend on there. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> that's all it is, yeah. So that's your 84. Like, <laughs> 84 was an interesting. Well, now I think I may, I may, I think I may do like my own little movie slash TV night in my house and like just watch like yeah, stuff could, that's like yeah, you, could do, you probably get through this whole year just doing 1984. It's so much <laughs> stuff came out that'll last you through the entire year. If you do a show like, like a week or something, yeah, you get through the whole year. Just I think like, I yeah. might do that. I think I might, you know, I'm feeling a little entertained. I feel like I want to entertain myself a little bit, so I might do that. I gotta break out the DVDs for Cosby because you're not gonna find that like these days. It's hard to find. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to buy off of Amazon because like it was free and now it's behind a paywall. I'm like, make it free again. <laughs> add it was on Amazon Prime for it, a Add it to Tubi or something like that. Like put it on one of those those streaming services. Like if you don't want to just put it on Amazon Prime, put it somewhere else. Like. <laughs> Like, put so it I put on behind paywalls. We pay enough for subscriptions, and then you keep on upping our subscriptions every year, or like you every have, year. Um, I have the Cosby DVDs. Like I do, I do have. So, you want to have big fun? I got the DVD. <laughs> I'm gonna buy me the series. I might have to buy it on DVD. I might have to do that and break out DVDs. Back in the day, yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I, I how got... foreign? Break out DVDs? How foreign of me now? <laughs> Bust out the DVD. <laughs> Duh. Good stuff, though. Yeah, eighty four was a great year for eighty four and tell and music. Yeah, well, let's look at albums. Okay, we know Purple Rain came up that year. Purple so. Rain, Purple Rain. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased, but the eighties did have some great. Some great, great things. Obviously, some not so great things. Like, you know, cassettes weren't that great. You know, things like that weren't good. That's what Dookie. What else was Dookie? Cassettes being at the top of the list. <laughs> but we did have some fun things, though. We did. You say you're going to look at uh, what? Music albums? Yeah, I'm looking um top albums from 84. That's what. Uh, hey, I got him. <laughs> got him. Okay. Because I say I can't look. On, I, I can't look on IMDb, but I found another site. Yeah. Okay, internet. Hundred greatest albums of '84. Was this digital? What's this called? DigitalDreamDoor.com. I haven't heard of this site, but they look. Um, it looks like they know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> just like glancing at this list. Okay. Purple Rain. <laughs> Purple Rain. Born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen, like a virgin oh. Madonna. Run DMC. DMC. Is like, yeah. Van Halen. Van Halen was huge. Yep. Um, Private dancer Tina Turner came out. Tina Turner. Yeah, 84 was a great year for music too. Like 84 just slapped. Footloose came out that year, the soundtrack, of course, because the movie came out that year. Oh, the art of noise. Art of noise, yeah. They um <laughs> moments in love. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. 
<laughs> Boy, tie the time ice cream castles, which was their last album. People don't realize they a time broke up right after this. That's the one with Jungle Love and the Bird. Jungle and Love and that's um yeah, ice cream castles. <laughs> oh, Sade Diamond Life. Sade had an album. I think that's the one with um um what's the big record? Um Smooth Operator. Smooth Operator, thank you. I'm like, yeah, what's uh you knew exactly. I was like, what's the big record? Yeah, that's uh the Sade album was <laughs> I feel for you, Saka Khan. I feel for you, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Beverly Hills Cop, like dude. Oh, Holland Oates had an album. Okay. New yeah. edition, they had their first album. Shannon mm -hmm. Lester Music Play, I remember that. <laughs> the, the Fat Boy's first album came out. Houdini, that's I think Houdini. that's the one with Freaks Come Out at Night. I want to say that's the album with freaks that. Come out at night. The Freaks Come Out at Night. Bon freaks Come Out. <laughs> the Bon Jovi album might be the one with um um what's the what's the fucking I can't think of, what's the one they had? I can't think of it right. Now, but they I had an think. album on there, yeah. Sheila E's Glamorous Life. Glamorous and Life, yeah. And that's what we are. We all want to love us are. Yeah. Well, yeah, 84 was a big year for music, too. <laughs> Woman in Red, because that was a soundtrack that Stevie put out, I remember. Mm -hmm. Rocky, the Jackson's Victory. Uh, victory, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the last Jackson. No, they had one after that with 2300 Jackson. This is the next to the last Jackson album. Mm -hmm. This one with torture on it. That's the way. <laughs> torture. That's the one with torture on it. Somebody's watching me. Rockwell. Rockwell's one and only album came out in 84. Oh, you always feel Tina Marie. Wow. 84 slapped me. Oh, yeah. Tina Marie came out. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, 84 was just a special year. So this is the 40th anniversary of all of that shit we just named. We started oh, wow. movies, TV, and music. Yeah, huge. So eighty yeah. four may be a strong contender for like best year ever, maybe. Oh, yeah, <laughs> could right. be a contender. A lot, a lot of those albums I forgot because I remember. I say I can't remember Purple Rain. I remember Private Dancer, Run DMC. Like certain ones I knew. Right, like a Virgin Madonna. Like a Virgin, yeah. Which um, well, shout out um, Nile Rodgers produced that as, as his. <laughs> Shout out Nile Rodgers. Nile Rodgers still performing. He was at the New Year's he, Eve thing. Yeah, Rocky he was Dick Clark. Yeah, he's at the New Year's Eve thing. Watch it. You look, you like, right? He's like, he got to be like 80. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Nile Rodgers still out there killing it. <laughs> he's still he's out there. One of the, he's one of the pioneers of disco. And the, disco, think how long ago that was. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Sheik were like, they were like topping the disco this chart. Is how I give references to if I'm in my 40s and I wasn't even born in the 70s and I'm in my 40s. So <laughs> you know so how you long ago was that was. any of the 70s because obviously you weren't born. So yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wasn't here at all. So you think about how long ago that was. Well, yeah, this is good. Like, yeah, no, like going back, yeah, because <laughs> having a little bit of fun. <laughs> what we gonna do now is go back. It's fun going back to look, and then you get to reminisce about. Like yeah. I said, I remember like my excitement when I first saw Love It Babies. I was legit. You couldn't tell me nothing. Like I was Saturday morning. I love it. I was, was on it. And that came from Muppets Take Manhattan. Muppets Take Manhattan. Last mm -hmm. scene when um, a, a piggy and Kermit uh, like, be ride, a movie star. Ride, a horse and a carriage. <laughs> it's like, and then it's like, um, so what if we knew each other when we were kids? It's like, yeah, like, yeah. It's like, so then they flash back to them at the nursery. Yeah, uh, like, I want to be a movie star. <laughs> How come Piggy was so likable in that, but she wasn't on Muppet Baby? <laughs> well, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I just didn't like me. I didn't like Baby Piggy. <laughs> I liked all the characters. Of course, I think my favorite was probably Animal. Animal was probably my favorite baby. Oh, man. Electric Mayhem, <laughs> let's go, man. Go, bye bye. You want to say go? Bye bye. Greatest <laughs> band in history, the Electric Mayhem, with Doctor Teeth and Janice and Zood and Floyd and Animal. Let's go, man. <laughs> it should have did their own spinoff. It's like it could have had a baby version of um the Electric Mayhem that would have slapped me. <laughs> Animal. <laughs> Animal. Um, Bunsen and Beaker, I like them on Bunsen that. and Beaker, yeah. Because he would always like do something and blow Beaker. Up and blow Beaker. <laughs> <laughs> there, justice with Beaker. There we go. <laughs> <I'm so romantic. laughs> and then my assistant Beaker is going to help me. Beaker be looking like, I don't want to help you. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, man. Good times. <laughs> 
It, oh it's God. simpler times, the 80s. Simpler times. Simpler we didn't time. have these things right here. These. <laughs> we just be outside all day, like, yeah, and our parents didn't care. We'd be outside on a day like today. <laughs> Cause we like we gonna go play some for some football like we were nuts. It's like we're going to play football in weather like this like, with oh the king goodness. hang out with the Kingston crew. Shout out Philip, <laughs> Milk, Milk and Scoop. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> Arnold, like, <laughs> Eddie is like <laughs> we be nuts, nuts out playing football in weather like this. Like me and Fees. <laughs> that was too. That was just crazy. Where's mom? Where am I getting the house? Like, where you going? <laughs> oh, this football weather. Like, no, it's not. It's like, <laughs> we we did too much. Like, some stuff that we should not have done in the 80s. Like, I saw a post that said our parents didn't realize how far we rode our bikes in the 80s. Absolutely. <laughs> like, because back, back then, like, yeah, back in my day, my old man, you had on the bike. It was like having a car to a kid. It's like, yeah, like, I can go anywhere now. It's like, yeah. Like, it's right. Like, Places that are too far to walk, and then you didn't have money for bus fare. So, yeah, just hop on your bike. It's like, <laughs> you say you rode to Indiana and bought fireworks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fact, I don't know more ridiculous than me riding to Indiana or like the fact that they sold fireworks to a child. Why they sell fire, fire, fireworks to like a 12 year old? You were like 12. Why they sell oh fireworks to you? You know, like, they had the little stand right across the state line. It's like, which is still <laughs> there. It's like it's on it's on um, part of the um gas station because the gas station wasn't there yet. You know that first gas station. Under the right there under the skyway. Yep. It's like right under the skyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right there was just a standalone, like a little like it was like a trailer where they sold fireworks out of there. And I guess when they built the gas station, now they have the little um, yeah, the roll and they down. They have it connected now to the gas connected station. To that gas. I went there. Yeah. Please tell me that you rode over there and you bought fireworks. July, <laughs> like, yeah. what? Like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, Fourth of July, I'm getting fireworks because like dad, <laughs> dad had stopped buying us because we used to get our fireworks, and he was like, yeah, I ain't getting no fireworks, so I was like, I'm gonna get my own. <laughs> That's just ridiculous that you rode over to Indiana and did that and care about us. They said, okay, yeah, like, <laughs> like okay, like you obviously were a child, but okay, we're gonna sell it to this child, to this minor, obviously with no adult around. It's like, okay, we're just gonna sell it to this kid. Take these rockets and these Roman candles, like sure, yeah. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> <laughs> but like we always say, it, it was a different time because the eighties, like things were a little bit more, you know. It was a little more lax in the 80s, but now it's like you can't even buy, like, seriously, like, if you scan, like, some cough mess and it'd be like, ID, you know, yeah, like, you can't buy cough because, mess. Yeah, because of the rappers um drinking lean, and that's why they, they fucked that all up. <laughs> the lean drinkers made cough syrup like a 21 and up item. <laughs> and some places, though, you have it locked up. You can't even get it. They either got it yeah, behind, like, the, I didn't the, guy behind the checkout, or they have it, like, behind the glass where they got to get the key to get I'm it. Looking I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, you, it, it's char It's like you, you asking for ID for this? <laughs> for something I bought, was like, for this? Y'all need ID for this? Really? Like, you kids today are kind of, y'all just find anything to mix and make uh, something with. Well, All right. that uh, mixing stuff together, you guys should be, I'm going to be a uh, mom now. You guys should take that talent and learn how to do something like constructive with it, you know? If you can mix things and learn that, you you can be a chemist. So you can learn class, do, yeah. yeah, you can learn do how real you, stuff. How you get how you get an F in chemistry, but you know how to make lean. <laughs> <laughs> you should learn how to use like because that's the thing: turn a negative into a positive. I guess it started with our generation, like yeah, the whole crack thing is like, oh, cats knew how to like with the baking soda and <laughs> know how to mix crack. It's like. <laughs> Why, no. Like so, we were watching Boy, uh, not Boy Manhood, uh, Men's Society. with Kane was like making oh, <laughs> stuff, yeah. Too short and Kane, which a lot of people to this day still don't know that that's too short and that he was in Men's Society. He handed it's old sure. dog the fucking say, "You ready to put a hole in the motherfucker?" And then that was, yeah, that was, yep. like, that was like, too short. Like, like, yeah, you know where everything at in the kitchen. It's like, yeah, it's too short. That it's was like, too short. Yeah, what's my favorite word? That was too short. Yeah, I forgot that that was him. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people are like, well, today is old. Oh, it's too short as a minute society. <laughs> Not too short. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, they go. 
they had crack recipes. I think the Source magazine caught some fuck flack for that. They had a recipe for crack. So y'all just tell and teach and kids how to make this shit. <laughs> they had a crack recipe. Who did? Wait, who had? Wait, who did this? In the Source magazine. <laughs> who did? Like what? So, okay, use yeah, three ounces of baking soda. <laughs> they had who a did? whole fucking recipe. No, no, <laughs> that ain't it. No, that ain't it. No. No, we had to no. Like, oh, these are for like educational and for informational purposes. For educational. How's that educational? <laughs> for educational, sure. Well, I remember that being highly controversial. It was like the oh, source, it's that... source magazine at the time. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's why I'll say who was funded them. Let's look and see was who it, was had it, ownership. Was it was it uh, was it Coyle Ray's daddy at that time or was it somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who had ownership and then we will not know the whole story. Bite. I'm just gonna have a good night. Hold up. <laughs> oh, and then if you go back still to 1984, 1984, I said, and this is gonna come a little bit full circle. 1984 also had did they also have the best drafting class in the NBA? Woo! Another thing from 1984 that happened. Oh, baby. I just thought about that. Did they have the best class? Uh, good one, kid. <laughs> Did they have the best class? Cause... Are we getting there? It's like only <laughs> contenders. Yeah. 84, 96, 03. That's the two the contenders. We're going to pull up 84 right now. So we talking about we in 1984. We in a 1984 mood right now. We in an 84 mood. Didn't that have an 84 Mighty Carlo? He had a, I think he had an 81. I think he has 81. Like, okay. I knew he had 80 Mighty Carlo, 80 something at Mighty Carlo because he had the uh, training day car, the, but his was gold. Yeah. He had the gold, uh, the one that Alonzo had. Yeah, Alonzo had. And, and dad didn't have no switches on his. Like his didn't drive. And he, he, didn't wasn't play, the... he wasn't playing Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. No, he wasn't doing this in it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't playing Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> had, had some spin he could have been playing some spinners in it. <laughs> No, some jazz. That's what dad listened to. Some jazz. Play some jazz in it. Play some Miles, David. Play some Miles and some Cold Train. <laughs> I don't think you've been hydraulic with uh, Cold Train. Four though. draft, Wikipedia. <laughs> Number one pick, Hakeem Olajuwon. Of course, Hakeem, the dream. Hakeem then, but now Hakeem Olajuwon. Mm -hmm. Number two, Sam Bowie. <laughs> Number three, from North Carolina. I, um, <laughs> Michael, Michael Jordan, do you think that he turned out okay? I wonder whatever amounted to what that. happened to him. I wonder if he had a better career than Sam Bowie. He had a better career than Sam Bowie. I wonder. I wonder. Like, yeah. Is he still memorable now? <laughs> Number four, Sam Perkins. He had Mike's teammate from um, North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> Barkley at five. Yeah. Okay, he's a bum. So. <laughs> Alvin Robinson at seven. I don't know this dude. Otis Thorpe at nine. Leon Wood, kind of remember. Kevin Willis, 11. Michael Cage with the cold curl. I remember <laughs> Stockton went 16 in his draft. Stockton. Got Jeff Turner. Um, just reading names I remember now. It's like, yeah. Let's get later on. It's like, yeah. Do we have any like um surprise picks in this? Late you know, later on, you'd be getting like them surprise picks. Yeah. And back then the NBA had like three, four rounds. It's like it just the draft just never ended. Back then, we're in round three now. So yeah, which is why yeah. we don't know most of these names. We're in round four. Like, they had like five. Okay, they had five probably rounds. Did. They probably did a season or two and it's never did yes. anything else. Probably. Like, you see why they stopped having all these rounds. And yes, shit. that's way too much going on. That's way too now much. They say two rounds and yeah. Okay, any um undrafted players? Probably not, yeah, but well, just like the the um the heavy hitters were like were big in this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Jordan, Akeem, Stockton, Barkley, yeah, like the like the heavy hitters like mattered. It's like yeah. and then you even had like that? good role players like Sam Perkins, you had yeah, mm -hmm. Otis Thor play even good like role players, like yeah, yeah. But when you look and you see that like Michael Jordan came to the Bulls 40 years ago. Yep. That happened 40 that years happened, ago. Yeah, this year. <laughs> 40 years ago this year, it happens. Yeah. Another great thing from 84, I forgot to mention is like, this might be a whole 1984 fucking episode. It's wild. It's like, it's like, uh, world's big in 84 too. Like the 84 Olympics was big. That was, yeah, Mary, yes. Mary Lou Redden. Mary Lou Redden. Lewis is like, yeah, that was a big year. Like, yeah, like the Olympics were big in 
And once again, it, it all matches again because, like, just like the NBA, the '96 Olympics were big. So it's like yeah, that was with Dominique Dawson. Dominique Dawson, them, yeah. <laughs> so like, it's like it all, Michael Johnson. Yeah. It's like so. Um, like I was thought about that. That was '84 when the Mary Lou Retton and um Carl Lewis was '84. <laughs> So, Come up with Carl Lewis singing the national anthem. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and the Rockets, Wrigley. Carl Lewis, he was um, yeah, he should have been tested like Marion Jones and um, Michael Phelps and and Shikari because he definitely was on something. But <laughs> uh oh, and he gonna say uh oh, and uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. Definitely should have been tested. <laughs> he was on something. <laughs> I don't know what, but he was on something. I think every Olympian was on something. The more I think about it now, I was like, yeah, because like to be on that level, you got to be on something. <laughs> I think about the best ones were always on something. Like, except Michael <laughs> Phelps was like the goat, and he was they felt he was on shit. <laughs> Even like with the uh, with the uh, seventy home runs, like Mark McGuire and oh, the baseball <laughs> player, obviously uh, Barry Bonds and all that. Because uh, like people put an asterisk next to them, but like because like. Mm-hmm. With, uh, Cause like with each sport, they put like the goat in each sport. Like um, Jordan, obviously, bat. Well, not s- some people. It's Jordan to me. Obviously, is basketball. It's Jordan. Some say That's LeBron. I say people. it's Jordan. It's like yeah. Some say That's LeBron. That's nine out of ten people. It's Jordan. It's Jordan. Like well, it's Jordan. Our, nine out of two people our age. It's like, our nine, age is Jordan. Nine out of people like twenty five. They might say LeBron. It's like yeah, but it's Jordan. And then when you showed them kids the last dance, and they were like, <laughs> they're watching the last dance. It's like what? He he did all. It's like yeah, we lived that. We lived through that. Jordan, um, football. I I say it's Brady. Like that's a controversial pick, but I say it's Brady. <laughs> Who else is like? <laughs> I mean, Walker got seven the championships. It's like, <laughs> I mean, it could be. I said in baseball, I say it's Barry Bonds. That's when I get real controversial. He got the record for like home runs, like the um most in the season and most overall. It's like, yeah, sure, he was on shit. It's like, but yeah. some people like put Hank Aaron or like other play. Some even go back to Babe Ruth, like way Babe back. Ruth, yeah. I'd say it's, it's Barry Bonds. So, yes, yeah, sorry. Like hockey is Gretzky. Like, I Gretzky yeah. Golf is Tiger. Who just left Nike after 27 years, by the way. Yeah. I saw that. I was like, that's interesting. Story, yeah. 27 year run with the That's <laughs> a long time. And you just mm-hmm. um tennis it like can go a couple ways. A lot of people say Serena, some say um is like other names they put out there. Say but, Serena. Yeah. That's what I know, so I go with Serena, but a lot of, a lot of old people go like a whole nother era and shit. <laughs> Oh, people. Um, I guess NASCAR is that really a sport? I guess it is. <laughs> uh, I don't watch NASCAR, so we gonna skip them. So yeah, like yeah, Dale Jared. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't watch NASCAR, so if you watch NASCAR, tap me, and I don't watch it. <laughs> I guess it is a sport, but it's it's not. It's just a sport, like, but. The driving, but I guess it takes skills to like be able to like drive cold like that. So yeah, it's a yeah sport. to whip it and do like because they be whipping around and doing you know that, yeah it's a sport. Um, boxing Ali. I'm a Tyson guy, but Ali is the goat though. Yeah, <laughs> Tyson was well, some say it's Floyd. It's like that's one can go three different ways. Yeah. Some people Floyd is their guy. It's like if you like that's the LeBron crap. You under a certain age, you say Floyd mm-hmm. is the goat. It's like. <laughs> Is like um cats around my our age is like Tyson. It's like, <laughs> yeah. but um yeah, I would say Ali. Gotta hear respect the OG. <laughs> um, did I miss any sports? It's like I start getting some obscure sports like um MMA, like but um I say it's um that's dumb John Jones. A lot of people don't follow that, but yeah, some say it's um. Anderson Silva, some say it's Connor. It's like depends on the Yeah, I don't follow MMA. Only name I recognize is Connor McGregor. That's what you yeah, that's because, he's always, because he's always in the news. That's why he does. <laughs> he's hectic, yeah. Because of his not not and not because of his fight. Not because of his fights, but because he's like he's always in the news. That's <laughs> like justice for curling. We can say curling. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Curling, that's a sport. Bowling, that's no way. <laughs> oh, of course, uh, gymnastics, Simone Biles. Biles, thank you. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. yeah. 
gymnastics. I would say Simone Biles. Uh, but figure skating, I gotta go with Tanya Harding, the goat. Man, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go with my girl Tanya. <laughs> and some other names, like yeah, some like um, like Debbie Thomas was. Uh, I was gonna say Debbie Thomas, but <laughs> I was gonna say go with my girl Tanya. I gotta ride with Tanya Harding. <laughs> Tanya was the goat. <laughs> Tanya was a real hit, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I said when I saw Tanya, I saw you make the face. You're like, why, <laughs> why? <laughs> I still gotta watch that the I Tanya movie. I, I still gotta watch with, it with the lovely Margot Robbie as Tanya Harding. <laughs> I think it was a little miscast because yeah, I think she got nominated for that though. I want to say, I mean, but I mean, I think she's a good actress, but like she didn't look nothing like Tanya yeah, Harding. Yeah, like, like, cast her, it's like, she looked nothing like her. Really to be Tanya Harding. Yeah, I'm not trying to take away no, from Tanya I mean, Harding, but they dressed her down, but she's still like, still, okay. it's like even a dress down Margot Robbie is still hot. <laughs> yeah, it's like even still okay. You put a ponytail, take off makeup on her, it's like she's still beautiful. So it's like what are talking we... with a, a trailer trash accent. It's like it's like, it's like but still I'm Margot Robbie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> looking like Jamie Presley and uh, Ringmaster. Right, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jamie they kind of look alike too. I, <laughs> they do look alike. Like Margot Robbie and Jamie Presley kind of look. They could play sisters. They kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that's how she was. And Ringmaster. That's how. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, gotta go with my girl Tanya. She's a go. <laughs> Justice for time. No, I'm just <laughs> Debbie Thomas. That's what I'll say. I'll say Debbie Thomas. I'll keep it there. <laughs> Some will go care again. Yeah. I'll say it's time. <laughs> that was a wild ass story looking back at that show. Plus. That was um, 30 years ago because that was 84. Olympics, 84. <laughs> so that was 30 years ago when that shit happened with Tanya. Oh, Hart. the 96. 96. Oh, that was 84. 90, 94 when that, 94, you mean 94, yeah. yeah. You no, know, like they have the uh winter Olympics. Oh, yeah, the winter Olympics. Yeah, that was 94 when that happened. Yeah, so that yeah. was 30 years ago. That was when that shit happened. That like, was 30. That years. was 30 years ago. Wow. Or the um, winter Olympics when that Tanya Harding shit happened. It's like <laughs> what? <laughs> when that shit <laughs> Yeah, Galuli. Galuli <laughs> changed his whole name. It's like, yeah, that much. <laughs> And then the, the, the Terry on top, then they had a sex tape that got leaked to it. <laughs> on their, their, wedding, their, their wedding night, is like, because she had the wedding dress on, she's like taking the dress off. So, like, they, like, feel, and I get, like, yeah, like, they wanted to film their, yeah, their honeymoon, but then how did the, <laughs> who leaked the tape? <laughs> I think Galoo. That was a leak tape that, that was a leak tape no one wanted to see. <laughs> I'm not trying to, no one wanted to see that. <laughs> Definitely don't need to see a, a text tape with Jeff fucking Galuli. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely didn't need to see that shit. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> but, uh, oh, goodness. Looking but back. Overall. Yeah. Was a pretty was a pretty kick-ass year, 1984. Was pretty kick-ass. A lot of good shit happened. Mm-hmm. Where was I going? Um, oh yeah, let's talk since we're going like nostalgic and still like um the Ring of Honor ceremony that took place at uh yeah. Yes, because like that's why I went to circle back. To. I said so since uh we did bring in Michael before, Jordan, yeah, and like, who was not there, who was there via satellite. Like, he sent in a pre-recorded message. It's like, and I feel like mixed reviews about that because I'm like this Ring of Honor ceremony. It was planned in advance and it was done to honor. How are you going to talk about like the greatest bulls and and Michael Jordan is not there? It's like it's and kind three of them weren't there. My yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Jordan, Pippen, Rodman, none of them. and some would say like uh, are those are maybe the three greatest bulls of all time. Rodman is debatable, but like Jordan, Pippen, definitely. I wanted to. Jordan, like, Pippen, definitely yeah. one two in there. Rodman's the greatest rebounder. But uh, but because he wasn't here that long, that's why some people was like, would they put him in at, as the as in the top three, some would, some I, would. Like, yeah. I would say for right, if you just go straight rebounding, yes. I said, but I don't know if, if you just say like just overall. I'm not sure overall because he wasn't here that long, but, but he made he quite an impact. Here, like, no, yeah, he was here three seasons. And guess what? They won the he title won. every season he was time. here. I was like, he made an impact. He had a three piece impact they, they, every year. Hey, Rodman never, um, Rodman never went fishing, as they say on um on inside the NBA. 
the it's whole a, time over here. <laughs> he was a, it's he was quality a, over quantity in that instance. That's why I would yeah. say quality over quantity. Three years they won the title all three years that he was there. But I think that legitimately um, Rodman's, because uh, I saw Rodman's video that he had, uh, he was like, the weather kept him back. And like, that's one that I could kind of be like, because we did have a snowstorm. And, right and, and the these guys are older too. So like traveling is not as easy as like, yeah, Rodman's yeah. like in his 60s. Yeah, they're like 60. Yeah. These men are like 60 years old now. So, like, so it's like, like in the round is not as easy as when you're younger. <laughs> but I mean, him being like the weather kept him back because he was like, I really because on the video, he was about to be in tears. He was like, I'm about to start because he was like, he really wanted to be there. He said, but the weather had different plans for me. And like we did have a snowstorm. I mean, it did delay several flights, like several people did get delayed trying to get here. So, I mean, his was like it seemed like his was legit. Pippen just seemed like he's been in his feelings since this whole last dance thing. Pippen has been out. Uh, uh, I don't know. Just <laughs> been, um, he's been. Um, but then thought he is with Michael's son. I so I mean, that. like that thing, thought he Pippen, uh, who yeah. like said that now she's like she's she's full of cap and shit. It's a, now she's saying her and Marcus Jordan have sex five times a day. He said the you said the same shit about Scotty. Like it's like, <laughs> but she's saying it in a good way now. It's like I saw her, she was on some shit. I was like, this chick knows how to keep her name in the news and shit. Yeah. My question is, do these people have jobs? Like, what do you guys do when you're like, what do you guys do throughout the day? You just have sex at your job. Do you have other things that you're doing besides having sex throughout the day? I mean, no offense. Who wants to fuck Buddy Pippen five times a day? <laughs> Knock it off, man. <laughs> but it was nice to see, and I get why um they they um tied it in together because um. Steve Kerr was able to be there because they played the Warriors. Oh, so that yeah, was a so perfect, like tie perfect timing to like, so that, you know, he'll be there because he's with mm -hmm. the Warriors. So that was good. And time. then uh, Bill is already there because Bill is on the yeah, radio. So then Bill just younger, shifted yeah. over. They yeah. gave him the night off from the radio because that's what he usually does. He calls the game on the radio with Chuck Sporsky. So then he just slid over and went over. And Neil was in the honor. Neil Funk was a nice touch. That was good. <laughs> Neil Funk, that made me smile so much. I was like, that was so appropriate. Because I wasn't expecting. I, I remember when Neil Funk was the radio guy, like back mm -hmm. in the 90s, like during the championship years. Maxim like, for three. Ah! Yeah, he was the he radio He did that. Maxim for three. Ah! Back the TV guys back then were like Tom Dore and Johnny Redker. Like, that's the TV bulls I remember. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and then, like, um, Neil Funk was on the radio, like, and with John Paxson during part of those and with other hosts, like, during, like, different times. I miss the size Funk is a hunk. I used to, like, seeing those sucks in the arena because <laughs> everyone would always have. It would always be one person with a Funk, at least one person that had Funk is a hunk side. <laughs> But that was really nice to see Neil Funk there because, like I said, I know he's older too, and like he retired some years ago. Well, and uh, I think I want to say he's like in Miami. I want to say that's where he he retired to Florida. I want to say so when he came, and I was like, oh, okay. That was a nice touch. That's, that's a Bulls. Uh, that's a Bulls legend right there. He's a legend for the Bulls organization. Yeah. And um, but the thing that I'm ashamed of as a Bulls fan. I know where it's going there. Yeah. Like, okay, the build up. So, like, when they were they saying all the guys who were there, you know, they had R.S. Gilmore, Bob Love, Bob uh, Love, you know, the, the, the OG. You know, yeah. Rest in peace, um, to Jerry Sloan. Like, yeah, like he was like the Bulls' mm -hmm. first superstar. Red Rest Kerr, in peace, like, of, uh, Ronnie Red, uh, Red Kerr. Mm -hmm. I hope Norm gives him the next one. I hope Norm gives it because they say oh, they're going to do it again in 26. Yeah. I hope Norm gets voted in posthumously because he deserves it. Norm is. I think about Norm when I think about Chicago Bulls. I do. He deserves it. Mm -hmm. But um, because yeah, yeah, like um, Red, like um, Norm, uh, Jerry Sloan, like Artist Gilmore, they were that Bob Love. They were that first wave of Bulls, like mm -hmm. the pre-Dynasty era. They were that first wave. Mm -hmm. All of those guys. Yeah. Yes, they were leading up, and of course, you know, when they did, of course, with Phil Jackson, of course, Phil Phil is the man. You know, the, Phil the, is the, always. I saw him, once again, like the GOAT, um, as far as NBA head coaches, like some, I like Phil. Pop, some say it's red, like, but I'm a Phil Jackson guy. <laughs> I say it's Phil. I say it's Phil with, uh, with Pop being a close two. That's why I say Pop is a close two to me. Pop is a, is a very close two, but I say Phil is. I wasn't alive when Red and the Celtics were doing their thing, so I can't speak on that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I say Phil and then Popovich. Those are my two that I go with. But yeah, um, no, after Phil they get... had three, he had three three peats and then one two more with, with Kobe and Powell. So, yeah. so Kobe 11 and Powell. championships, damn it. <laughs> 11. <laughs> with different teams. Yes. 
He did. He had Michael Jordan. He had Michael Jordan and Michael Jordan Jr. So I mean, he did it two. He did it two times, you know, because Kobe was Michael Jr. He did it two times. So, so of course, when they did feel, you know, everybody was. You know, before they could even like just start, as soon as they started naming like his accolades, because how they would do it, they would name the accolades, and then the audience was cheering. And as soon as they start Phil's accolades, of course, we knew it was Phil. You we were talking about it. <laughs> the audience was screaming. And then the sad thing when they did Jerry Krause, they showed and the widow looking sad. Yeah, and, they, and they and his widow was sitting there because obviously, like some of these people have passed on. So, like I think for some of the people, like their son, somebody's grandson was there yeah, for like, him. Um, of a representative, yeah. A like, representative. Like, I forgot whose grandson was there. And then some of the people look just like there. Like, somebody's son. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, he looks just like his father. Like, when they showed the picture, I was like, his son looks just like him. But when they did uh, Jerry Crest, because his wife was just sitting there at first. His widow was sitting there at first, just, like, kind of, like, you know, just regular face. And then when the crowd just started booing, and it was, like, not even, like, a little. It was, like, boo. It was, like, that. And then his wife, and then she started crying. Like she actually started crying. And then you start hearing some people. Then you start hearing some like, yeah. And then you start hearing some, yeah. You start hearing some applause over the, you know, once well, once they, they saw her crying, yeah. then they started trying to applaud it out. I saw in the comments people like Bulls. They 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 be y'all y'all getting as bad as Philly fans. Like yeah, like, that was that was that was trashy. That was like I, I'm a lifelong Bulls fan, but that shit wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. I mean, it's a it's a time and, I, and a place for everything. And I see, like, in my timeline, like the mixed reactions to that. I see the mixed reactions to people was like, real, "Well, he broke up. Real. He broke up the championship." He also put together. He the, put together the championship. He also put the team together and shit. Yeah, and then people say, "Yeah, yeah," but how how hard is to build around the goat? Like they had the cocaine circus, like traveling before that heat before Kraus. They had the traveling cocaine circus. So they were yeah. some cokeheads. Yes, yeah, so you do have to put a team around them. You can't just put Michael Jordan and those guys like what they have. Guys. Like, yeah, he hired Phil Jackson. Sure, he fired him too, but he hired him. It was like, because like we had to put the right coach in that spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like that. All that matters is like, yeah, for all y'all, I think that it's I just like, about Jordan. I was like, like, yes, he's responsible for the rise and the fall of the of one of the greatest dynasties in basketball history. And people but, don't know don't know the the real history of that is like um uh, he didn't really break up the dynasty like he was done with Phil Jackson. He was done with Phil Jackson. That's what it was. It's like he's like uh, and that's what he said. I don't care if y'all go eighty two and zero. Like we're not bringing you back. We're not bringing back Phil. And then Michael and Michael like Phil. said like okay if Phil's gone I'm well, gone I'm go. firing again. Yeah he's like. And like Michael, like being a poker player, he was bluffing. Mike wasn't ready to retire. Like, ready to retire. That's one three in a row. You're not ready to retire. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. But <laughs> but he had to stand by his word because like once, once, once he they, left once Phil they brought go, in Tim Floyd, he can't come, he can't come back now. He looks like an asshole. Mike had to mm -hmm. stick to that. It's like he can't come and play for like Floyd. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. He had to stick to that. Yeah. But I thought that was just classless doing that. That was I was expecting more. This is this is what I was expecting. Cause I mean, I know it's still like Jerry Krause's name in Chicago is still kind of. I know, um, you know Krause, Krause has a banner in the United Center, but I don't remember them ever having a ceremony for that. They probably mm -hmm. just quietly hung that banner. They probably just hung it. Like, of course, so, I remember like the old like I don't remember Jerry Sloan's being up because obviously that was before my time. Mm -hmm. But I remember um Jordan Pippen, Phil Jackson, of course, and then they did Bob Love like somewhere in that they retired his number around like in the mid nineties. I remember all of those retirements. This mm -hmm. Kraus one, I do not remember. It's like, yeah, I this just saw it. I was like, oh, Kraus got a banner. They probably just this hung is it what up. I think that, uh, this is what I thought was going to happen. Like, when they did Jerry Kraus, I thought that it was either going to be silence or the dry, you know, the polite clap. Like, you know, the dry, polite clap. Mm -hmm. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting either silence or a dry, a dry ass polite clap. That booing, that loud, I wasn't, I was like, wow, they they really doing this in front of his wife. Like that was bogus. That was, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. Yeah. Like it's a time and a play. Like you could, you could be on your message boards or whatever and talking about, yeah, you could do it then, but doing that live at the, that wasn't the time yeah, and play. Not like the guy, but like the boy and the, the motherfucker's dead and shit. It's like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. 
Like, you can talk your shit online, like you know, like I said, away from you know, but doing it live there, that wasn't that wasn't the time or place to do it live. And I tell you this, like I'd rather have um Krauss than um guard packs or Acme. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like <laughs> who you putting in front of your front in your front office, like Krauss, guard packs, Acme. Like, who do you want? Like, who's had the most success out of those three? I'm just saying, it's like <laughs> say what you want, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying, damn it. <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> wrap this thing up. <laughs> Not another damn podcast episode 345. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> In the vortex. Yeah. <laughs> and we definitely got cold at the end right there. <laughs> mm. you, we definitely appreciate you supporting us. Yeah. Our uh, cold, not summertime shy, wintertime shy. Maybe we'll call it that too. Wintertime shy. <laughs> you want to support us further? You know what to do. Give us a like. Also, subscribe, share, rate, review on all your platforms. Talk on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, SoundCloud, iHeart, TLC Talk Radio. What up, Tasha? Hey. YouTube and your Amazon Alexa devices. And you can follow me at Ozman the Wizard on Instagram, uh, TikTok, and X. Oz Radio on Snapchat and Facebook as well. You know how to get at me, y'all. And you can check me out at MSIMA8626 on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Also, S T R A G U L L E Y one on X, S T R A G U L L E Y seven on Instagram. Also, uh, you can check out the Straight Gully Facebook fan page. Check out straightgully.com for your blogs and your vlogs and for your video production needs. Check out straightgullyproductions.com. I'm Ozman the Wizard and Naima, and we will talk to you later. Bye. I'm gone.